Dan, here at City Hall today, city and county leaders both stress how important it is for people to separate, sanitize, and wear their face coverings. Now, they said coronavirus is still a major threat to our community. These numbers dictate we, we need to do anything we possibly can to help minimize that spread. But Madison Mayor Paul Finley said that does not currently include mandatory mask wearing. His answer is in line with other city and county leaders. We should continue to have that discussion, uh, and we have. Uh, we'll look at next week. You know, the, the, the hardest thing for that comes to enforcement, um, and, and at what level do you, you do that? Finley said they're constantly talking to other mayors in the state about masking ordinances. Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health had a certain message for the community on Friday as Madison County is now on a coronavirus hotspot watch list. I'm not trying to be bossy in this, but you know, I'm a physician and I'm obligated to tell you what the risks are and what the RET measures are to prevent. As she asked for people to mask, sanitize, and social distance. It's medical advice, and I think if, if we shift a paradigm a little bit to say, okay, we're not being regulated to do something, but my doctor told me to do this in order to protect my family and to protect my loved ones and protect me, it, it, it kind of gives a different perspective. She wants to remind everyone, if you've been tested, you're supposed to quarantine until a doctor or the Alabama Department of Public Health clears you. Stay at home when you get tested. You had a reason to get tested, so stay at home until you get your results. Today, Lander said the Department of Public Health does have ways to enforce that you are quarantining. They said that they haven't used those measures yet, but if people don't follow the rules as they're urging them to, then they'll have to use enforcement measures. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.